No Film School's coverage of NAB 2017 is brought to you by Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Vimeo, the new home for 360 video. Learn more at vimeo.com slash 360. And My Road Reel, presented by Road Microphones. Back with more categories, more chances to win, and over $500,000 worth of prizes. Hey, this is Diesel from No Film School. I'm here with Emery from Frame.io. We just launched 2.0 just shortly before NAB, and it's our biggest update yet, over 100 new features and improvements. The biggest kind of headline feature of 2.0 is our all new review pages. So when we launched Frame.io, we really focused on internal team collaboration. If you're in a, in a post-production company or an advertising agency, Frame.io offered an incredible way to kind of get your whole team working together. But the overwhelming feedback that we got was our, our everyone was asking us, hey, I want to work with my external clients in a more seamless way and not have to invite them into something new where they have to create an account. So we created these new review pages which allow you to select some collection of assets. It doesn't have to be everything in a project, but just the select things that you want to get feedback from your clients on. And you can configure these review pages with settings like uh, you know, you can say, hey, do I want these guys to be able to approve this? We have a new approval button. Well, that's up to you. You can set a password. You can set an expiration date. So highly configurable. And they'll, your clients will get a, a, a link where they can use all the collaboration tools of Frame.io with like the timestamped comments, the annotation tools, but they don't have to have a login. And we also have a bunch of workflow enhancements. So we have an enhanced workflow with Final Cut Pro. We now allow you to download comments from Frame.io and import them into Final Cut, complete with all the annotations. But it's a really, really sweet workflow. Uh, there's also just a, a whole bunch of navigational improvements. We redesigned everything. So we have uh, you know things like breadcrumbs when you're deep in a, in a subfolder. We have a new asset slider in the player. So if you're in the player, you don't have to go back to the project page to find the next asset that you want to watch. Okay. Um, uh, you have the ability to drag and drop files from one project to another. And it'll create a copy without or without counting against your storage. So you can create a thousand different copies across a thousand different projects, and we only count that one original copy against your storage. So we now allow you to export your comments, not only for Final Cut and Media Composer, but also to a PDF, an XML, a CVS. So you can do a whole bunch of other kind of post-processing on that stuff. Uh, we now also let you download proxies. So we've always supported uploading of large files like 4K ProRes files, and we've always generated proxies in the background. We now offer these proxies for download. So if you have a 4K ProRes file up, but somebody just needs to do something real quick with it, they can download the 1080, 1080 MP4 proxy. We introduced publishing to Vimeo. So it's actually faster than publishing to Vimeo on Vimeo itself. So once it's already uploaded to Frame.io, you hit publish to Vimeo with full publishing controls over privacy and audience and all of that. You hit the button and it is literally instantly available on Vimeo. This is that we have a new labeling system, a new approval and labeling system. So you can now mark, mark assets as approved, in progress, or needs review, which is a great way to kind of, at a high level, see the status of everything in a project. Once something is approved, next step is you probably want to publish that out, which is where publishing to Vimeo comes in. I've been talking to Emery with Frame.io about their new version 2.0.